so I wanted to show something a little different than what I normally am doing. Uh, we just picked up this new contract that has a bunch of water source uh, heat pumps. Um, you can see it's basically it looks almost like an air handler. Um, we got supply return, we got outside air coming in right here. Um, got you know you can see the filter track right about there um, so yeah it still has everything kind of that most your air handlers have it just has uh, water water lines coming in we got an in an in and an out uh, a valve on each one um, just to make sure you know you can shut it off if you ever have to swap it out or do any work to this thing um, it does have a, a compressor in here uh, pretty much all your your standard components um, so we're basically just doing a maintenance. I kind of did a lot of the general stuff, checking contactors. I pulled the cover off, made sure nothing was pitted out, everything looked good. Uh, this one, I noticed something pretty quickly. Uh, this capacitor is leaking uh, fluid pretty bad. Um, I tested the capacitance and my reading was were off. Uh, so I'll definitely be writing that up. That's the one that goes to my compressor right back here. Um, and uh, I have some of these that are, are three phase that obviously don't have the, the capacitors, but I've actually found a couple of these. Uh, there's about 13 or 14 heads I've been looking at so far. And uh, this is definitely one of the capacitors that's leaking. Um, and then over here, I just kind of pulled some panels off. It's just kind of a, another side view of kind of getting in here to work on things. Um, and then I got my, my blower over here. Uh, check my capacitance on this little capacitor for the motor as well. Um, another thing that I'm just making a documentation of, I'm not actually gonna really do a ton of stuff on, is you can kind of see the discoloration on the, that blower right there um, in the dust. Uh, what I've seen over the years is, you can actually see it a little bit right back here too, but I know that everything's sealed on these um, but I have seen where they'll start to leak a little bit of uh, oil out of the, the seal. It might be a bad seal or something like that. And what I usually see is I'll document them. If it's like a critical area that the, the unit's treating, you know, I'll sometimes the people want to be proactive about it and replace it before it actually fails so they're not actually down. Um, but most of the time I'm just documenting them so we can kind of keep an eye on them on each maintenance if it's getting worse. Sometimes you can hear the bearings getting worse or any of that kind of stuff. So I'll just start to document it, let these let these guys know. Just want to be thorough as I can on everything. Um, but yeah, like I said, I just want to show something a little different than what I have actually ever done a video on and actually even normally even work on. Um, every so often I work on these, but not, not every day. Um, but yeah, it's just some of the general stuff, kind of a quick overview of this thing. Obviously there's a ton more in depth to it. Um, but yeah, that's kind of everything on this that I'm seeing. Um, like I said, documenting the blower motor and then that compressor capacitor. I'm um, definitely gonna hound them on and get in that replaced so we don't lose a compressor. Um, and then I just put like little note tags on top of these is what I've been doing. I'm in a pretty nice mechanical room here with a lot of this equipment. Um, so I'm just gonna put these little, little orange tags uh, that has our company information, date it, put my name on it, write up everything. Uh, that way, if it's not me coming back to do repair, or if they just have to do the repair themselves, they kind of can go right to, right to the units that have the issues. Um, so thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to add more in the comments if you see some stuff I missed or could could bring up on on these particular units. But uh, thanks again for watching, guys.